Hey everyone, Val here, and I have a review for you today. I was sent a product from Amazon.com, and this is from CS Kosh Systems, and it came with a warranty cord. It is a skillet, and this is an 8 inch small frying pan. And this is from Kosh Systems Ultra Nonstick Frying Pan with Lid. And it has the Kosh Systems symbol on it there. And it is vented. And this is a nonstick frying pan with lid, granite skillet with APOE and AFOA free stone earth coating. Aluminum alloy stir fry pan stainless steel handle and it's oven safe. All right, so I'm going to do a test with the skillet and See how it works out. I'm going to do an omelet with this Now this is sold on amazon.com and I'm going to put a link in the description box below to where you can get this omelet pan. If you're looking for a nice stir fry or omelet pan, it is nonstick. And uh, the instructions on it, it came with a little instructions page. And it says, suitable for gas, induction, or ceramic stove tops. Wash gently with warm water before using for the first time. Cook on medium high to low heat. To protect the coating for longer lasting performance. High heat tends to damage the coating faster. Uh, use oven gloves when necessary, especially when handling the hot pan or lid to avoid burning yourself. Let the pan cool down completely before you wash it. Keep it out of the reach of children. After a long time of use, if screws or handles become loose, use a screwdriver to tighten them. Well, this one does not have screws. It is riveted on. So this one, this pan, this specific pan does not screw in. Um, hand washing is recommended. I don't put my pans in the dishwasher anyway. I don't like the way they turn out. Wash the pan with soap water using non-abrasive sponge. Rinse it with clean water and dry with a kitchen towel. And it has a limited uh, lifetime warranty on it. So it is Kosh Systems. And let's go see how it works. Turn on a medium low heat. Do a quick spray. And that's just a cooking spray. I've got three eggs, onions, some red pepper, and some orange pepper. I have so a little bit of tomato in there and some Uncle Steve's shake and that's what we're going to be frying up in the pan today. I'm just going to do a quick omelet. Alright, I'm going to put the cover on and we'll let it cook for just a little bit. See how this comes out. a little bit longer okay that didn't take but a couple of minutes nicely done no sticking we'll put some cheese on there There we 
you go. Perfect omelet. Cut the heat off. Perfect omelet on the pan. Have no sticking on the pan. The handle's cool up here. The handle's warm down here. So <laughs> watch the handle. All right, and the, this is not hot. All right, worked out well. The little pan did a really great job. Uh, the handle didn't get hot up here, but it did get really hot to the touch down near the pan. So you do need to use a hot pan, a, a pot holder, or something like that when you use this pan. Uh, clean up was a breeze there was absolutely no sticking at all on here uh, a nice little omelet pan so I I like the pan it's really really lightweight there's not a lot of weight to it at all uh, the cover does have a little weight to the cover but it's a nice little it's a nice little pan so it looks nice um, it does have a, a hole in the handle where you can hang it up I tend to hang up some of my pans that I can fit on my rack. I do have a, a hanging pan rack, so it uh, fits nicely on there because it does have a hole in the handle. So if you want more information on this pan, there'll be a link in the description box below. Go down there, check out the link, check out the pan, um, and uh, if you get it, I hope you're happy with it because I'm going to probably be using this one. It's a uh, I, one of my favorites because nonstick. I love nonstick, and this worked really, really well for my omelet. So, thank you all for watching. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed and you want to. I will catch you on the next video. Y'all have a great day. Bye now.